I make an Android game like this in Android Studio using ChatGPT generated code? Let's find out. And let me tell you, this was not a smooth ride. Errors, crashes, weird bugs. This game really tested my patience. But in the end, I made it work, and I'm excited to show you how it all came together. So, first things first, I went to ChatGPT and gave it all my requirements. Instead of asking for everything at once, I took it step by step to avoid unnecessary issues. Created a new project in Android Studio and named it Racer Game and uploaded the car and background images into Drawable Folder and created activityman.xml and pasted the UI code. Then I created mainactivity.kt and added the game logic. So far, so good, until the errors started showing up. Luckily, Android Studio has a magic trick. Alt plus Shift plus Enter. I use that to fix some errors automatically. I built and ran the app, hoping everything would just work. Nope. The app crashed immediately. I asked ChatGPT for help, and it suggested two fixes. One, update AndroidManifest.xml. And two, adding a dependency in BuildGradle KTS. I did that. Built the app again, and this time, the app actually opened. But there was a problem. The car movement was horrible. It wasn't smooth at all. Not great for a game. So I went back to ChatGPT and got some updates for mainactivity.kt and activitymain.xml. After making those changes, I ran the app again. But now there was an error with the width variable. Fixed that rebuilt the app, and now the car was moving, but still not smoothly. Instead of smooth controls, it felt super laggy. So I updated mainactivity.kt again, and finally, it worked. The car moved smoothly. Then, I adjusted its position slightly, moved it a little higher on the screen, and also made sure it couldn't drive into the grass area. Next, it was time to make the road and background move. I got the updated code from ChatGPT, applied it, built the project and ran it. Then I noticed a weird issue. There was a black gap between background images while they were moving. Tried a few fixes, asked ChatGPT for help, and after a few tweaks, it finally looked smooth. The road now moved continuously without any weird gaps. With the road animation done, I moved on to adding other cars to the road. I uploaded some vehicle images into Drawable, built the project, and ran the game. And then I saw something funny. Other cars were overlapping each other. Not exactly what I wanted. So I asked ChatGPT for a fix, and it gave me the correct code. Now, other cars are not overlapping. I then asked ChatGPT to add a game over system that would detect collisions and display the distance traveled when the player crashes. ChatGPT gave me the code. I updated mainactivity.kt and activitymain.xml and ran the game again. Now, the game could detect when my car hit another vehicle, but there was a problem. It only detected collisions when my car was exactly at the center of the other car. So basically, I could clip through most of the vehicle before it registered as a crash. ChatGPT gave me a fix, but this time it overcorrected the issue. Now the game showed game over, even when my car wasn't touching anything. I kept trying different solutions, tested a bunch of things from ChatGPT, even tried DeepSeek AI, but that didn't help either. At this point, I had been debugging for hours. It was getting frustrating, but I knew I was close. And finally, after tons of trial and error, I fixed it. Now, the game is fully functional. Smooth car movement, seamless road animation, other vehicles moving properly, Collision detection working correctly. Game over screen displaying with the distance traveled. So yeah, this was definitely a challenging build, but in the end, I got it working. With a lot of help from AI, 
If you enjoyed this, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss my next video. More cool AI-powered projects are on the way. See you in the next one.